Welcome to the Frey Flack Pack. It's Termex here, and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 build video. And in today's build video, I'm going to showcase my double tap flack. And this is probably one of my favorite flack builds I have ever made on my channel. And I have a lot to show you guys today. A lot of new gear, a lot of brand new flack interactions that I am really hyped to be sharing with you guys. And let's just quickly get into this. First of all, I just want to give a big thanks to my friend CZ. He actually discovered that some anointments on the Infernal Wish shield actually break the shield. So the Infernal Wish that I previously had, had a on depleted reload speed um, roll on the shield. And I wasn't getting the special effect of it to work. So he was able to send me another copy that actually did work. Apparently it's a big bug going around. But quickly, let's go into the skill tree for this build. Now we did go pretty heavily into the stalker skill tree. 5 out of 5 into hidden machine for that extra damage while we are not being targeted. We did get the cap zone, the power inside. So when we activate our action skill at full health, we get the 50% extra damage for 15 seconds. And of course, lick the wounds because you gotta get the perk, man. Lick the wounds is your survivability as Fleck. We all know health regeneration doesn't really work. Now over into the Hunter skill tree, we also got the Capstone Megavore for that 20% critical hit chance. And we got 6 out of 5 into the most dangerous game, so when we kill a badass, we get 50% gun damage and 20% extra crit damage. 5 out of 7 into Hunter's Eye, so we get a bunch of different benefits. And 3 out of 3 into big game, just so our Hunter skill effects and duration is longer. Those are just some of the key things I want to point out. And also Two Fang. Two Fang is going to be playing a huge part in Double Tap Flak. Because that extra projectile chance is going to be a lot more overpowered than you guys think. I will show you guys in a second. I only put 5 points into agility training over into purple tree for the reload speed. And my last 3 points into persistence hunter. So I get action skill duration and 12% gun damage. And as always guys, my guardian rank is always disabled alongside its bonus stats and perks. Because I like my builds to be pure vanilla gameplay, not relying on any of these perks or buffs. Now let's quickly get into what makes this build double tap fleck. We are using mainly single pellet weapons here. And that is the main thing that we want to shoot for. You see, I do have a crossbow and a bunch of King's Calls. Yes, guys, the King's Call Flak is back. I am happy to say this. For all my Flak mains that played Flak at level 50, you went up to Grave Ward with the King's Call with the old Leave No Trace with no cooldown. You know what I'm talking about. That was amazing. I usually do like to take a new player friendly approach when explaining my builds because I want everybody to understand how the mechanics of my builds work. So if you're one of the pro players out there, please bear with me. I want everybody to be on the same page here. I'm going to make this as simple as possible. I'm going to take off my shield and my toboggan relic. I'll explain that in a second. And I'm going to shoot my king's call. Now, as you see, when I hit a crit, the king's call gives us those three projectiles. But, if I proc Two Fang, as you saw right there, we got six projectiles. But now Two Fang doesn't happen all the time. It only happens 25% of the time as long as you have five points spec into it. But with this brand new shield that got released with DLC 6 called the Infernal Wish, it adds one projectile per shot when your shield is not depleted. So as long as you have some shield in your shield bar remaining, you will always have a extra pellet. Now the self combustion isn't really a big deal because it just sets you on fire for like a second or two and it does like 50 damage. But the thing that this shield does is now, no matter what, whenever we shoot a weapon, we're going to get an extra pellet. Now if you have a Maggie with 8 pellets, it's going to shoot 9 pellets. If you have an Anarchy with 20 pellets, it's going to shoot 21. But where it comes in clutch in its most powerful state is when you use single pellet weapons. I'm talking Ion Cannon, King's Call, the Crossbow, um, the Disruptor Sniper that just released, even the Plasma Coil. And the Plasma Coil is kind of insane with guaranteed second pellets, let me tell you. When we shoot this dummy, we are always going to shoot two pellets, which means we're always going to get six extra pellets from the King's Call. But on top of that, we are going to randomly shoot three bullets and get nine projectiles with the king's call and that's where things get a little bit insane now i did this with the crossbow to make it more noticeable because it shoots actual crossbow bolts and as you see when we shoot it we can actually see the three different arrowheads signifying that we could indeed turn a single pellet sniper or any single pellet weapon in the game into a three projectile monster 
and that is what double tap flex centers around. I hope everybody here is on the same page. I know that was kind of a lot to take in, but that is the purpose of double tap flack. But you know what? Us here at the flack pack, that's not enough damage for me. I don't like taking a single pellet weapon and giving it two extra shots. That's not enough. So we are adding the brand new relic called the toboggan. Now, the toboggan does provide us with 100% slide speed, which is bugged right now because it just doesn't work for some reason. 100% amp damage and 50% damage reduction when we slide. Now, the way this works is when you slide, we get this little hexagon blue aura around our body. And as long as this is active, we have all those stats that have been listed on the card. Until we shoot our next bullet. When we shoot our next bullet, it consumes the bubble around me. But my bullet does 100% amp damage. And on top of that... It is not just 100% amp damage, that is multiplicative per pellet. So each pellet is getting that 100% amp damage just like the one shot or shield. And that's where this build really gets crazy because I could do something along the lines of, let me take off my class mod just for testing purposes. I'm going to hit a simple crit on this handsome jack here with no buffs or anything. And we hit for 3 million, which isn't bad. But we're going to go into fade away. We're going to go back to our last pellet, and we're going to slide, and as you can see, we hit for a lot more damage than just 3 million. But you may say, oh, that's just fadeaway doing that damage. That's nothing special. All right, I have no skills active, no fadeaway, no ASEs. I'm just going to simply slide, and we hit for 5 million damage. And this doesn't have a cooldown, so you can slide, shoot, slide, shoot, and you're going to get this amp all the time, basically. And I love doing it with the King's Call because you can just slide, shoot it, slide, shoot it, and you're going to get that constant amp damage. Now, your King's Calls are going to be your bossing and mobbing weapons, and so is a crossbow. But I do have the King's Call in every single element except Cryo because I just didn't have a Cryo King's Call. Well, these are Queen's Calls, my bad. It's the same thing. Summer Queen, Summer Kings. You get the idea. I do have a hedgehog in every single element. I want to thank one of my buddies for that. I only had a fire and a shock, and he provided me with a corrosive and radiation for the build for you guys to have. And we do have a plasma coil with on next to mags, because a lot of people are going to say, why aren't you running U-Red? And if we ran U-Red, we wouldn't get this amazing amp damage. On top of that, I did include a hive, because it's just a little fun weapon to put in there. The unseen threat is kind of fun. The fact you could have nine little rockets shoot out of basically one shot is pretty cool but this sniper it hasn't really aged that well it still doesn't do a lot of damage the root is just there if you want to down yourself and i do have other grenades just in case you guys want to use different ases but we are running a bounty hunter class mod with splash damage weapon damage and jacob's crits jacob's crit is obviously going to help our king's calls the weapon damage is going to help everything and our splash damage is going to help our boss killing weapon which is the ion cannon this thing has been resurrected through the power of double tap flak just because you can literally one shot 99 percent of the things in this game except for Hermie and the new boss those guys are a little bit tanky because i can explain everything to you guys but at the end of the day a lot of people learn a lot better if i just simply show you what you have to do to make this build work at its full potential now what you're going to want to do when using this build is simply pop into fade away make sure you guys do your slide to proc your amp shot and shoot your amp shot and you're going to want to do that every time you shoot a bullet so i'm going to slide shoot my amp shot i'm going to slide and shoot my amp shot very simple stuff and once you get into the groove of things, you're going to be doing a crap ton of damage. Now, we do have a bounty hunter, so we get the maximum amount of damage out of our guns and out of the whole build within itself. And it's honestly really cool to see the King's Call doing a lot of damage again, because this gun has been under the radar for a pretty long time. And a lot of people have been overlooking it because it simply gets foreshadowed by the more powerful pistols. The new pistol that did get included, that everyone's talking about... I am going to make a build with that soon. That is probably going to be Splash Flak version 3. So if you guys do want to stick around for that build, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know when I post that video. My big pet peeve is when you're frozen, you can't slide, so you can't get the amp damage benefits. So cryo weapons just personally pissed me off a little bit. And I honestly feel like a build like this is very well suited for Flak, getting the most out of weapons that traditionally only have one pellet due to their high damage. 
and the fact that we could exploit that and do even more damage is probably my favorite thing about this build and honestly you guys don't need this specific gear that i have if you guys find any single pellet weapons that you love to use that are powerful they will perfectly fit in with this build you won't have to farm certain weapons you won't have to do anything like that just find single target guns that are good and that you enjoy playing with now let me get my most dangerous game procs and we are going to one shot trance with the ion cannon because that is how we do it we're going to activate our slide get that bonus damage and we're going to charge up the ion cannon stand still and kaflui captain trance is dead the highest I've ever hit with this build is 180 million on Grave Ward, which isn't that bad, but it's actually pretty good considering the meta and the fact that you can easily... Once you get the mechanics down and you get used to sliding and then shooting your gun, this build is going to be amazing. You guys are going to love it. And if you're on PC, you can download everything you've seen in today's video with the PC save file in the description below. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this build... Please make sure you leave a like on it because it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you're new and you want to join the Flak Pack. And hit that bell so you guys never miss out on another Borderlands 3 video from me. But anyway guys, hope you guys have a terrific day. And me and Scorch Jr. over here will see you guys later.